hey guys what's up what's up what's up today i am going to show you how to cook jamaican curry chicken so first thing first you want to start by washing and cleaning your chicken which i already did clean up my chicken and everything and remember to use your vinegar sour lime or orange whatever solution you have to wash your chicken with so i'm gonna go ahead right now and just cut them up right now all righty so all right so i'm just gonna chop this chicken up Don't want them too fine guys i don't want to cut them too fine you have a time when i'm currying chicken and i cut them really fine and the next time i don't really want them fine because what happened when you cut them fine you know it tends to your chicken tends to mash up when you're cooking it so i really don't like when my chicken is mash up so i don't cut them too guys so these are my seasoning that i'm going to use so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to cut them up prepare them you know so i'm using garlic cloves ginger and onion i'm using half of an onion so this is just a quick curry quick little curry chicken you know not long no long thing you know when you're hungry and thing so I'm just going to put it to marinate for half hour, you know, not any long thing. So that's the garlic. This is the ginger. I'm just going to cut it up and then pound it a little. The back of my knife. Yeah, this is a scotch bunny pepper, but it's not big boy. And it can't say this a big boy. Can look at it. It's not all that big, but you know, if I go do it work, you know, you ever hear this word, little but your talawa? Yeah, man, that I go. know it's not big, but me know it talawa. So these are some chili. I'm just using two green chili to help kick things up, the spice up a bit. We like spicy food. Half of an onion. so let's just go over to my chicken now and season it up today i am using some better pack curry and this is jamaican curry this was made in jamaica guys this curry here oh god man when you use it i'm not doing any advertisement for them you know trust me about this curry oh my god it let your curry taste so good yeah man so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dash some of it on my chicken and i'm also using a little cayenne pepper as much as i'm using scotch bonnet pepper and i'm using the chili i'm still gonna go ahead and i'm still gonna go ahead and toss in a little of the cayenne pepper just to kick things up and spice up the things same way and i'm i'm using some maggi chicken flavor right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dash in a little of that as well so that should do then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put a little salt to taste so that's it i'm gonna go ahead and give this a good massage so guys i'm giving this a good massage combining the season with the chicken and you know i'm back in my gloves don't want the curry to stain up my nail although it would have come off anyways so this is it guys so what i'm going to do now i'm going to throw on my seasoning them that i just cut up i'm going to put them on all right guys i'm adding my earth seasoning to my chicken and let me tell you something this is how i grew up see my mother do it yeah she add all the seasoning to the chicken but as i say you know we grew up and everybody big and everybody's an adult you know we choose our way of cooking but this is how i grew up see my mother do it and when she, you see when she has seasoned chicken guys when she rub 
and she rub, she rub in them season there, you know, man. Oh my God, when she don't cook that chicken, that chicken is so tasty and so delicious. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just put this aside. I'm going to leave this to marinate for half hour. Just half hour. But as I always say, guys, overnight is the best. And you know that, right? Alrighty. Guys, so after that half hour, I'm going to just put some oil in my pot. And I'm going to proceed to dash in my chicken to get it nicely cooked up. Yeah? So my pot is really hot because I set it on as soon as I lit the stove. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, it's more than half hour because, you know, I was doing some ground provision, cooking some ground provision with some good old boiled dumpling, which you will see later on in the video. So what my mother would normally do now, she shake off the season half of the meat. Yeah, shake off the earth seasoning them and drop them in the pot. So you want no come now we go over to the pot because it's already hot. Come along. So this is it guys. She does shake off the season just like this. And she drop it, let me show you. She does take her fork and go so knock the chicken on the pan side. You know that signal says she's shaking off the season of the chicken and then she drop it in the pot. Yeah. Although she put the earth season underneath, she don't put everything in the pot one time. She shake it off. So that's exactly what I am doing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do now, I'm going to just cover this and leave it in bring its own water I'm not going to put any water on it as yet alrighty so boom alright guys so I'm just checking in with my chicken alright look at that you know, so this is what I'm trying to make look at that Right, this so you know, I'm going to put some water in this now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scrape out my seeds in there now. Alright, then I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put some water in my basin. And I'm going to wash it out. I'm not going to put too much water there. Just a little water. And wash out all of that goodness that season that is in it so i'm gonna just pass it on in the chicken here then i'm gonna go ahead now and cover this and allow it to cook some more all righty all right guys so while my chicken is simmering down I am just dealing with some carrot to put in it and I'm also putting an Irish in it what is curry chicken without Irish and guys what is curry chicken without Irish and pepper oh my god man So you can cut your Irish and your carrot to your desire. You don't have to cut them so chunky as how I am cutting it. Cut them to your desire. So this is it guys. So as soon as a couple more minutes leave for my chicken to finish, I'm going to just toss these in. Alright All right, guys, so I'm just chipping in with my chicken again for another time. Coming on lovely. So you keep adding a little water until until it is cooked. So it's coming on lovely guys. So right about now I'm going to just pass my Alright guys we are checking in back with our curry. Alright, so you notice the water has gotten lesser. Alright. So what we are going to do now, we are going to go ahead now and add our carrots and Irish to the pot. I 
Alrighty. Then we are gonna go ahead now and add some water. Add in a little more water. Give in and give then you give that a good stir. Alrighty, then we're gonna cover this now and allow to finish cook. Alright guys, so I'm going to toss a few a few pimento berries and I check my fridge for time, some springtime guys, but unfortunately I don't have none so I just find a little piece so I just toss that piece in with my pimento berries and I'm going to leave this. Alright now guys, so I'm going to cover and allow to continue to cook. Using just a teaspoon of flour. about that that's what I would see my mother used to you know she flour then I'm going to tip a little water in it and I'm going to mix it up the next thing that she used to do to you know is um she used to put the bread to dry and then grate the bread and use that to thicken her gravy so I'm just pouring a little bit of water on that and this is the basin that my chicken was seasoned up in. So if you see any curry and all of that, yes, guys, this is the same basin. I don't bother to dirty up anything else. All right, so I'm just going to mix this all properly and add it to my pot. So come along, I'm going over to the stove. Back again. Come along. All right, now, guys, so we're just adding a little flour that we just mixed to our pot just to thicken our gravy a little yeah man so this is it I'm just going to cover this for a minute or two and then that's it for my curry chicken So this is the finishing of our curry chicken guys finishing product 